cheating, drugs, alcohol, even excessive eating. Do you know what these can sometimes be the result of? A man not being happy. I'm seeing a lot of men struggling with their lives. I myself have even struggled with some areas of my own life. Now, I don't have the answer to everyone's problems, but I can tell you that you're not alone, and we're here to try to help you the best we can. In this video, we're discussing some of the difficulties that dads struggle with. My hope is that you'll realize that many of these struggles are common and that you can overcome them. We're all trying to figure this life out. And unfortunately, we often compare ourselves to those around us. And the internet has made this even worse. That guy looks like he's got a pretty good marriage. That guy's more successful and has more money than me. And that guy over there, he just seems to have it all together. The reality is, is that we have a choice on how things affect us. Most of us are not born nor raised with that ability to not be affected by others. We often care about what other people do or what other people are saying. And as I said before, we're often looking at what other people's lives are like and comparing ours to theirs. It's a losing proposition. We can go through life wishing we had more stuff, wishing we were in a better position, or wishing that simply our life was better than it currently is. Well, I only see two options. One, you can change the situation to how you want it, or two, Change your perception about the situation and accept it. Self-acceptance is crucial to happiness. You can strive to be better or simply want more without beating yourself up or getting upset at where you're currently at. Dads struggle in various areas of their lives, but I wanted to go over four specific areas that seem to be common on where people have some difficulties. Let's see if we can first identify what's going on and then offer ourselves some self-acceptance. The first area is our professional lives. Men often define themselves by what they do. Our job or career is very important to us. Are we doing our life's purpose or do we have our job because it simply pays the bills? I think a lot of people feel stuck and just aren't doing work that they enjoy. Are you proud of what you do? If your professional life is not the way you want it, are you willing to do what it takes to change it? If you are, great. If you're not, guess what? That's great too. You're just going to need to change your perception on what you're doing so that you can be happy. You're gonna have to find the positive in what you're doing and stop complaining if you're not willing to change it. The second major area of struggle for dads, financial. If your role is as the primary provider for the family, that is stressful. When you feel like you're never making enough money to provide the lifestyle you want for your family, it can be difficult. You can feel like a failure. Are you living paycheck to paycheck? Well, there's this thing called Parkinson's Law that says no matter how much you make, you're going to spend it and a little more. So what do you do? Begin learning how to take control of your finances so that your finances are not controlling you. Read books, watch videos. You gotta learn how you either can earn more, spend less, or better manage your money. A little tough love here? You can't bury your head in the sand and think that your situation is gonna change. You have to make the change now. The next area of difficulty is your relationship or your marriage. There's so many people getting divorced when their children are young. The dynamic of the relationship can change when you have children. There's less time for the two of you. Energy can be spent elsewhere. And basically priorities can begin to shift. You might become more focused on being the provider 
while she becomes more focused on the children. So what should you do with your relationship? First, you got to talk about it. Communication is the number one thing to help reduce issues. And while you're doing that, be sure to be empathetic. Put yourself in your partner's shoes and realize what they are going through as well. You also need to make time for each other. If you're struggling in your relationship, you're going to have to make the effort to get it back on track. It's the same with any of these issues. If you want something to change, you're going to have to change it, or you're going to have to change your perception about it. You're not going to be able to rely on a boss, on your spouse, or anybody else. If you want the change, you have to change it. The fourth area that dads struggle with? Physical. There's a big correlation between depression and not taking care of yourself. Whether this be what you put in your body or exercise. When people aren't happy, they consume things that aren't good for them and they become more sedentary. There's tons of excuses why dads decide not to take care of themselves. But if you want to get better emotionally, sometimes it's easier to start with the physical. Start small. Maybe you go for a walk. Maybe you make some better food choices. You just need to make the decision that you want to do it and go for it. In fact, with all of these areas, it's really about making them a priority in your life. Are they painful enough that you're willing to make the change? Are you willing to put in the work to live a happier life? The work can sometimes be just training your mind to think differently. It can be consuming positive messages, watching motivational videos, or just reading inspirational material. All of these can have an impact on your life, but you still need to make the decision that you want to change. The purpose of this video is to let you know that you're not alone. We all struggle. The awesome thing is, is that you don't have to. You can change it. I do really hope that you got something out of this video. If you enjoyed it, Please share it on social media with your friends and family and subscribe to our channel.